Hey guys, I'm Kedrix. And I'm Marcus Chronicle. And we're going to talk to you today on today's fourth podcast. This is, we've done these four months now. This is the fourth month podcast. And I've decided to just make this a monthly thing. Even if on the fifth month or any month in the future, I have to do it on my own. Or maybe we'll just like record another one in like two weeks and I wait until like the full four week gap to post another one. Yeah, I'll live just across the alley out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they already know I, I live at home with mom and dad, so. Like, you. Uh, it's funny. It's like months ago. <laughs> Technically, it is an alley. Technically. But, uh. Well, this video is about how our channels. Hopefully, the four channels that have. Well, technically, only three three of the four channels that I'm going to be talking about, that we're going to be talking about here, have been uh, actually on this channel, and that's counting my channel. Ninja Storm 93 and the Greystone Chronicles channel have been the only ones that have been featured fully as, like, guest stars on my channel. The uh, only... Yeah. Void yeah. Storm has yet to be on the channel whatsoever. And that is unfortunate because he's an interesting guy and he would be interesting to have on at least a podcast. Hopefully, one day, um, we can all get together, all four channels, and, you know, do a podcast then. We'd have to, like, get a tape. We would not be able to do it in this room. Because, like, the podcast with you and me, they've been done in here, and the podcast with Ninja Storm 93... They've been elsewhere. Well, if we do a podcast with everyone, me, Neon, you... It's like, if it's the five of yeah, us, yeah. we are going to need a big room. We're going to need more cameras. <laughs> well, honestly, as long as we can get this thing like kind of far away-ish... I mean, honestly, it's going to be difficult either way. But, I mean, it, it could be interesting either way. I, I honestly could just hook up a microphone or the rock band <laughs> microphones and those things pick up sound pretty well. I mean, all I need to do is like... Uh, how do you think we originally recorded over there? Yeah, I've got one of them, actually. I think you have both of them. I've only got one. I might have one. I might have one. You've got the other. I don't know. Uh, but I they work pretty well. Them. They work pretty well. Um, so, moving forward in the future, I've got a... a sort of a little special feature mini series I guess you would call it coming to my channel and it's gonna be called weapons test and the plan is to not just myself but also Marcus here we're going to be testing the various weapons that we have collected over the year well I've collected mainly you've got like two weapons I, I just started my collection but to, but to be fair I, all right here's like the first weapon. I'm going to show you guys the first weapon that we are actually going to test. And it's like literally right here. Right here. The sheath just fell off because it just says that. this right here. This red blade uh, will be the first weapon that will be tested. Um, actually, I already did a test. But um, I was just goofing around at the time. And I didn't really think much of it, and that's actually how I came up with the idea. And honestly, um, I tested this out against a wooden stump. And it's not the same as if you were to test it out against something like a watermelon, which is a lot like a human skull. So we're going to have to like spend money in order to make it even remotely useful. So we're going to put that down. Um, we'll need a lot of watermelon. Not a lot. Maybe three or four. But who am I kidding? The watermelon is expensive. Watermelon is expensive where we live. Especially where we live. Our taxes are somewhat higher than anywhere else in our entire state because we live in a town where... Uh, that's restaurant tax only. Oh, restaurant tax only? Yeah. I don't pay much attention. Um, oh, God, I have a headache. What? <laughs> yeah, that that cup. Um, 
So I got nothing but water in it, but water helps me whenever I'm talking for a long period of time. Which I'm going to need that because we, tr I try to make these last at least an hour. Like that's the, that's the basic rule of a podcast is that it lasts a whole hour. Well, over on my channel, what I'm trying, what I'm about to do, I got two series that I actually want to do. One of them is a Let's Play on Digimon World 3 because I got the game and it's... That game is so addictive. You are obsessed with that game. I actually stopped playing it for about a week and a half. But I but mean, it was it's a when you game. got it, you were obsessed. With, when I came in to talk to you about the Spider-Man trailer, and there was a whole uh, misunderstanding where you snapped at me, I about snapped his neck. To be fair, I asked you like seven times what the trailer was. I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to get a reaction out of you, but you were. So wrapped up in the game that, well, you, you just kind of like, you didn't care. You know I don't like being myself much. I know you don't, but you wouldn't just be patient. But the other series I have is a, is a series where all I do is just screw around in whatever game I can get my hands on. Screwing around with. Yeah. That's, uh, that's I, I've done a few in Assassin's Creed 2. It was either Brotherhood or Revelations. I don't remember which. I'm pretty sure it was Assassin's Creed Two. I did. Uh, I did one. Uh, I did a lot in Assassin's Creed Two. I did one or two in one of the other two games. I don't remember which one. Uh, that's where the Shadow of Glasses ones were, but Neon didn't title them right, and I'm too lazy to go back and fix them. And uh, I want to say there's another game, but I don't remember. So now that I have PS4, I'm probably going to do that a lot more. Uh, yeah, something else. Um. Alright, on Fridays, like every Friday, starting like this Friday, hopefully, um, my plan is to do a live stream of a video game, and whether or not it's a multiplayer, I don't think would really matter, um, but if you want to like, you know, show up during my live streams, I mean, like the first game I'm going to be playing is, I'm going to be playing DMC Double May Cry on... Like, the hardest mode, because I've been replaying it on easy just to get my bearings and everything. I'll say this, Virgil's Downfall, that story mode, I cannot play that. I played one mission, and it's so slow. Yeah. It's the same problem I have with Terra. But, yeah, I mean, you get so used to the versatility of Dante, and then suddenly Virgil is just like, eh. So slow, eh. The original trilogy, I believe it was a lot faster, it was more fluid. This one, I cannot. Actually, it was a quad trilogy. I, a I don't care. DM's Devil May Cry 4. I don't care. Yeah. Like, Devil May Cry 4 was the one with Virgil where you could play as him. I don't know. I really don't. Um, I'm thinking about actually getting the original game so I can play them. Or maybe I'll just, like, watch the movie versions online. Because you know there's a movie version for any game that has a story on it. On YouTube, like you can find it almost yeah. immediately, and it's mainly in cutscenes with minimal gameplay. I mean, heck, that's what Kingdom Hearts the movie is on every medium out there. Yep. But uh, regarding more to the you know crossovers between the series, um, I believe I said this in the last podcast I did, and maybe the one before. But um, seriously, guys, uh, go to my Facebook and leave messages in the message box or something. I mean, you know, as long as they're appropriate. And what's more, here, all right, a few rules towards questions. Um, you can ask whatever you want, but here are questions that we will not answer. We will not answer, like, you know, what's your name? Where do you live? Uh... Where have you worked? Because we respect the places where we've worked. Well, you might not, but to be fair, you probably better not mention where you work because, you know. Um, oh, d don't get me wrong. They already know if they watch uh, a few videos because Neon's not very smart in hiding stuff. Not me personally. I don't care if you know my first name. Yeah, no. People can find my first name. They can find what town I live in. You and I. And what state I live you in. You and it. I. You actually have very common first name. Mine is. Common, yeah. 
Mine's Mine like, is much, much, much less common, but it's still not a rare name. Our last names, however, are so rare that you just, like, you need to actually know how to say them and how to spell them, because there are multiple forms of saying and spelling them. I'll, I'll be honest, the worst spelling I've ever seen of my name, my full name, had a P at the end of my first name. I don't know. I I don't know. Quiet phone. How do they misspell your... Do you care if I tell them what your real name if is? If they watch the videos, there's probably like 20 where they say my real name, so I don't care. Yeah. Jacob. Jacob is his I'm name. Silent. His name is Jacob. How do you put a P in Jacob? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And the problem is, he misspelled my last name as well, and he had my everyone's, name. Everyone's misspelled our last name. But he had a paper with my name that he was looking off of while he was spelling it. I, I, don't, I don't understand how you can just mess that up. We've had people mispronounce our last name so many times. My first name is Derek, okay? Now, I said this in, like, my very first video ever on this channel. I, I don't care who knows my first name because my first name is not that really much of a secret. I mean, my name is in my YouTube channel. Kedrix is my organization 13 name if I had become a nobody and joined the organization and it's D-E-R-E-K K-E-D-R-E-X. It's the anagrammed key. Here's a challenge for you people. Make me an organization name. Oh, God. <laughs> I guarantee you can't make a good one. Didn't you try that once? Didn't work out well. It, it won't work out well. Jabzik? Nope. <laughs> uh, Zabjug? No. You see, I want to know what they can come up with. So I might be... Moving around on the on the comments of this video every once in a while, but uh, hey, you can do another RVB reaction on uh, Rocket Jump. They're the ones that did. Hey, the, hey. Um, oh yeah, cool. I, I saw that little Rocket Jump thing. It was like in my recommended. But uh, here's one. I just had it. You screwed me up. Um, Coach Zab or Coach Zab? No, Coach Zab. Oh, come on, Kojab. That sounds pretty cool. What would you rather be called, uh, Ajax? That's actually your best one. That's Francis's name from Deadpool! Exactly. So, what, you want to be named the Cleaner? Nope. But, moving on, hopefully. Again, I still want to know what they can come up with. Because I expect it to be fun. You will have no possible. I'm still I'm convinced that Dime is the name for Demix. Like that. It's either Dime or Demi. Or Mide. Yeah. Or Emid or Emid. That's not, isn't that a natural name? No, I, I have no idea. That's Emid. It's close. Lark Scene. How do you get that kind of a name? Luxord. So many. Like, I want to know what all their real names are. Lumaria is a name that has been said for uh, Marluxia. It's a fan name by Skyward Wing, one of the key keepers. I do not watch them at all. I have, I'm subscribed to two of them. I don't watch them. Yeah, I. I, I Watch the key keepers because oh we've gone so off base again. Is yeah, I just followed the King Hearts Twitter. I don't use Twitter at all. Yeah, I I barely use it. But yeah. Um. But <laughs> collaborations with the other channels. Uh, Ninja Storm ninety three. I wish that he would get some stuff put up because. Honestly, I mean, the dude could do something. I mean, how hard is it to just... 
I mean, you see what I do, all right? I figured out what I want to do. I'm a reactionist and a reviewer. Like, that's my whole shtick. And you, I mean, you've got the whole gaming thing going on. I got three things I want to do, but, well... Void Storm is them. more of a comedian. He is a straight-up comedian. I mean, all right, I'll be honest. He is not the funniest guy I've ever met. He's hit and miss. He's a what? He has hits and misses. Yeah, he's a he's a hit and miss. He has a lot of good stuff, but some of his stuff doesn't really make me laugh. Um, he doesn't overreact. That's his pure reaction too. You don't overreact. Honestly, I think when you're around Neon, that's when you show your most reactions. It's our personalities. There's such a different thing that pulls out those parts of us that just work really well. He seems like a less interested version of you. Who? Neon. Yeah. Neon is the complete opposite of me. That's he truly is. That's what I was saying. Did you think I was still talking about Void Storm? No. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no, he really is the complete opposite. And what just everything. While we mostly play video games, he's mostly sitting on his phone or in front of a book just reading something. Oh, that's that's a little bit different. Those are hobby differences. I'm talking personality differences. I mean, he seems so uninterested whenever it comes down to that kind of stuff. Well, the thing is, when it comes down to him, he is a people person. He has to be with someone just talking to them constantly while I am very much the complete opposite and social. Unless you're around him. All right, I'm, I'm, as far as I've known or seen, I'm the only other person that, you know, you are even remotely this chatty with. Eh, that's kind of why my I still work where I do, because that's breaking it, kind of. Yeah, I mean, I've heard from you and a few other, you know, that you're actually sometimes the life of the party. I'm like, why don't you ever put this much effort when you're here? People at work think I'm funny. I think they're crazy. They think I'm funny. We are crazy. We've always been crazy. No, I think they're crazy. Because they think I'm funny. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. Yeah. Yet somehow I get people to laugh. Sometimes. Well, I know why... I know why half the people think I'm funny is because my dead pain re reaction to just about everything. That's something else I want to talk about. Your Valley of Shadows. Uh, ashes. I gotta get oh, back to that. right. Valley of Ashes. You had one episode already up, but because of Viacom, was it? Yeah. They took it down. And another video where, um... <laughs> that was a follow-up to that. About yeah, these, I mean, uh, you, you had a, uh... That was a one-course meal, I believe. A full-on review of one-course meal, because... Yeah, I mean, because you, uh, they I, I, copyrighted the image that you created. Like, that, you know, there, there were like six uh, copyright notices, but the only one that angered me was that one image. Because it was a thing that, it took me probably... Tw they're not even minutes. paying attention, they're just... It literally took me about 30 minutes to make it just on Microsoft Paint, which is a horrible program, but it's all I have right now. Yeah, I mean, but, oh, honestly, I mean, what I do is I just, like, I draw it, I take a picture of it, or I scan it, and then it's on my computer. Yeah. I'm, I'm decent with that. Uh, I'm trying not program. to stab my foot right now. Put it in the sheath, at least. Or grab one of your other knives. <laughs> Any of the other 15,000 knives. I have so many sharp weapons in my room, honestly, when the zombie apocalypse comes by, or the walker apocalypse, whatever you want to call it, I will be ready. And this is stainless steel, and this thing, I swear, will not bend. I mean, it, it will bend, but it'll just, like, bounce itself back to normal. Like, I swear, this thing was, like, curved when I... Slashed it into the wood, and when I pulled it back out, straight. I will say this: that Valley of Ashes, the first one, even in the credits of that, when I said thanks to you, I didn't even put I didn't even put your first name. I put Kedricks. Yeah, just 
But even and anyone's going to see that is like that. That's most likely what they're going to know him by. Yeah. So I think I put my bro Kedrix too. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember. It's been a while since we watched that. Honestly, I've made a sort of big step in subscribers ever since last year. Last year, around this time, I had about twenty something subscribers. Oh, don't worry. The first million is the worst to get. <laughs> and now uh, I'm up in the 120s. I've gone over 100 subscribers since last year. Yeah. And that's pretty cool for me. You haven't had much, but... I don't upload enough. I really, I need to. I'm lazy. Neon I, I, forgets well, everything. Well, it's mainly because... I don't know. People, I guess they just don't want to watch, you know, screwing around in Assassin's Creed or stuff like that. I mean, personally, I think you need to post newer stuff. I need to. I really do. Like, save up some money and get yourself a good capture card. I mean... Oh, I, I can go out and buy one right now, but I need, I need to save up a little bit. Right, and we won't go into detail as to why. Um, uh, I don't care about that. That's because I already have it all paid off, but... Oh, you do? <laughs> so, well, you, so now you're just kind of saving up. Uh, yeah. Wow. Smart move. Smart. I wish I had done that when I was working at a place like yours. Here's the thing. Here's what I will say about where the places I've worked. I have worked a fast food joint. Honestly, that was probably my least. Second. I'm going to go with it's your second least favorite job. No. No, I actually like that job. Well, I did. I liked it. I mean, it was uh, my first job. No, no, I, no. I didn't quit because I didn't like it. I quit because I needed to make money and I wasn't going to do it working minimum wage and not even cracking 20 hours a week. You, you see my point. Yeah. Um, but when I started making $10 an hour, then I got laid off from that job and got right back to minimum wage. I'm like... How? You were in a different city. Yeah, I was in a. I was working in a different city at that point, and uh, then I actually got brought back to the place that laid me off, and then they fired me a few months ago. That was when, uh, for some people who are watching, um, they saw me kind of distraught. I was so out of it, and then I got hired at that other place, and they laid me off after. One month to the date, and I was immediately, I wasn't even upset the same way anymore. I was just pissed. Like, I wanted to break so much stuff, you guys don't even realize it. You see, that? that's a completely difference in our personalities. You go from being uh, kind of upset to being pissed. I go from being pissed just to uh, not wanting anything to where I need like four days where I can be just alone. I have not had a day where I have... I have not been unemployed for a full 24 hours since before I got jobs. Like, ever since I got my first job, I've been employed within at least 24 hours of wherever it is I go. I can... I just instantly got another job. Yeah. But, um... More to the point, um... Of this podcast... God, I am so out of it right now. I mean, I don't even know why. It's I guess it's just been a long day because right now where we live, it's humid outside. And the weather does affect me, like, massively. Like, it slows me down or whatever. I mean, I'm not the skinniest guy in the world, okay? When it's as humid as it was out there today, and especially as humid as it gets in where I work, I... It could be like 60% humidity outside and inside where I work, it's 85. Yeah. And I'm talking humidity. That humidity, I didn't know how bad it can throw you off. And I've worked in, like, I don't think that this would be any surprise, but I've worked in hot factories for three summers and not been bothered by anything other than just the overall amount of sweat that I was giving off from being out in the hot part for, like, nine hours a day. Yeah, I either just stand in front of a sink or stand in front of a curb doing this. It's everywhere. 
So, um, yeah, I mean, weapons test. Uh, that'll be an interesting little mini series. Hopefully, it'll be done between you and me. If we can bring other people onto it, like say, uh, Neon Greystone. Yeah, Neon Greystone. I saw, I get your names confused sometimes because I hear Greystone Chronicles and then there's Marcus and Neon. It's like I know who you guys are, but your names get, get me confused sometimes because you know I I talk to you the most, so I keep thinking Marcus Greystone. Because yeah. you know Greystone comes in first. Uh but I but honestly if you were to put down Chronicles Greystone or Chronicle Greystones, it it wouldn't sound this good. Greystone Chronicles is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Of a name. Like, <laughs> I don't even know where the Greystone came from. Like, Marcus Chronicle. I already had the name Marcus when I made the character. You've had the name Marcus ever since Digimon Data Squad. Yeah. I I had the name Marcus originally because of that, but that's it's just a name that I really liked at the time. It's when I made my original character. So... When I made Marcus Chronicle to be an actual representation of uh, me as a Flanderized character of me, which what me and Neon are. They're supposed to be Flanderized versions of ourselves to be over the top. Which... Yeah, yeah we're, we're a lot more over the top with you guys than we are... Like, actually, no... Well, no, well the Let's Plays that we do generally is just a building thing where we start about the same and then we just build on top of them just go deeper and deeper into it? Uh, honestly, I'm trying to think now, actually, about whether or not I'm actually more over the top here or, like, off camera. I actually am not sure. I'll tell you what, I'll watch some of your videos and let you know. <laughs> You've not seen me at my top over here. Honestly, Ninja, Ninja Storm is honestly the one who would probably have to tell me. Because he's seen me at my most over the top moment. But yeah, the Chronicle part of my name came just from something random. I think I was playing the second Legend of Spiral game actually, and I just I heard Chronicler, and then all of a sudden it just clicked Marcus Chronicle, and that's how that came to be. Mm -hmm. And then Neon Greystone, I don't know what I was doing. I was just thinking of random names, and I'm like, uh, great uh, Neon Gray. Uh, it sounds good, but it needs something else. And then Greystone just appeared from somewhere. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, I mean, with me, my name, um, how old was I? God, this was, I mean, almost a decade ago. I was 12 years old, and this was when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in America. I was 12 years old, and I had a couple of friends who were really into it, and we picked up on the whole, you know, the name... Roxas was actually Sora anagrammed with an X. We put the pieces together pretty easily. And uh, we were like, what would be our organization names? And when, like, my friend uh, Devin, which uh, we called him uh, Vednix or Vendix. I don't remember which one it was. It was either Vendix or Vednix. Okay. But uh, when it got to me, I was like, Zedric? I, I, like, I wasn't good with it. And then he suggested, you know, uh, what about Kedrix? And I'm like, that's my Organization 13 name from this point on. So I've had the name since I was 12. This name is 10 years old with me. <laughs> and by God, I don't think I've used it. I think I've used this name... As, I mean, alright, something else you should probably know about us. We are writers. We are writers. I have nothing published yet because I am a series procrastinator. And my series that I'm working on, I'm restarting it because plot holes and character design. Honestly, I'm thinking about bringing uh, one of my comics on to the screen because you, I, I'm going to do it, actually. I'm going to find one at some point, and show you guys why uh, I decided to change up the art style. Uh, because, uh, actually, I think I see one. Yeah. You see, I haven't put anything up yet, because there's a bunch of them right there. Oh, yeah, that's all of them, actually. 
You see, I, I'm just, I haven't run much because I'm just. Okay, I still don't know how this happened. I don't know how these red marks got on the the cover. Is that Kool Aid? I don't know what that is. But I mean, see if you guys can get a good look. Uh, balls. Um, guess you can take a look at it. It looks like Danny Phantom. I hate to say it, but it looks like Danny Phantom, and that is really messing with the white balance. Or whatever yeah. it is. It it looks like Danny Phantom, and honestly, I mean, if you look at my style, see, like you can tell, yeah. right? You guys can tell that I do hand draw these, and like I work on these on my own. I've drawn, okay. yeah. I was currently working on book eighteen, and I'm I picked. One that does not have the title on it, but has a number on it, and this number is 15. So, I've written 18 of these things, and they range up to sometimes like 50 pages. And for comic books, that's pretty long. Yeah. Like, um, if you actually want to follow some of the stories that I do publish, it's actually on fan fiction. Uh, keep in mind, they're all Kingdom Hearts. But I will leave a link to my fan fiction in the description down below. Which I'm gonna have to like add that link now because I've got I've got a like look at this, look at this. You guys can't see it, but I have uh, on my A B Word a file called Link. It has my Facebook, my Twitch, your channel. Um can't talk about that one. Uh Void Storm and what else is on here? I think that might be it. That's it. Uh, I thought about talking about the channel Hello Stonehenge once because it's a good channel and I really wish that they had, you know, continued on with it. It's that motivation one that I showed you that one time. Ah, that one, I remember that one now. I, I'm sad to say that that channel has pretty much died, which is sad because they had a lot of good content and I mean... They said, you know, when I reached out to them, they said they weren't making any money off of the channel. I'm like, I'm not making any money off my channel right now. And, I mean, that's not stopping me. I've got less subscribers than you do. I've got way less views than you do. And, you know, I mean, it's not like it's going to happen overnight. I mean, it takes time. So, when I first started uh, my channel, the one that I barely upload on, it's always been a thing of, I don't care about subscribers. I honestly don't care about the money. I really don't. I just want to make something that someone will like, even if it's one person. I don't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Because if, if you can just entertain one person, it's worth it. It really is. It is. I mean, um, here's, I honestly, screw the whole, you know, drop us. You can drop us any questions that we don't answer right here. We're just going to. Like, talk right now. So, why did I start up my channel? Um, the reason is mainly because all my friends that are really into the same stuff as me, um, we live cities apart from each other and hardly get to see each other anymore. So, um, like, honestly, this was a way to get my opinion out there, like, for when I, uh, watch Red vs. Blue with you guys. And I give my opinion, and I love to hear feedback. I mean, that's why I do my Red vs. Blue. That's why I did my all, all my reviews on Flash, Arrow, Gotham, so on and so on. It's why do I do? I like connecting with other people who have similar views as me. I, that's why I do it. I don't do it to be an entertainer, at least not at first. I do it now because, you know, out of the, the few... Uh, subscribers that actually have the 123 subscribers I actually have. Yes, that is accurate. Um, I'm going to look it up. I am... Are you actually looking it yes. up? Um, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know. I don't know why. I'm pretty know. sure it's 123. But it has to be right. 
my few hundred subscribers. And yeah, just few hundred subscribers? What? Or subscriptions. I don't care. Yeah, 123. Ha! I'm right. Because I check my channel. Um, I didn't really get affected in the purge that happened recently of YouTube channels. I have 11. You had 15 the other day. I had 15. I've been I have been out of it the last week. I'm last you must week. you must have got hit by the purge too. I don't know. Well, I mean, my checks, I had twelve. I did have a hundred and uh, twenty-five. I mean, uh, some people just don't. Some people will just unsubscribe. Yeah, but I mean, my original channel still has has like hundred twenty-seven or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not but I mean, bother. I don't care. I don't do this for the subscribers. I do this because you know. I want to. I've got a daytime job, and honestly, if I never make any money from this, so be it. At least it's a hobby. At least it's something that, you know, helps me kill time. I mean, they always say, you know, hey, have a hobby. And is it just me, or is there like some sort of lighting thing going on in my head, like right here in this very spot? You see... That lighting on my head in the camera, like, it's look so at it. Look at it. It looks like I have some sort of light arrow tattoo thing. You've got nothing. Well, you're the avatar now. <laughs> Why am I the... Wait, I'm the avatar? What? Uh, I don't know. I've got... I'm going to go back and watch that show. That was <laughs> a good show. Legend of Korra was pretty good, but... Uh... Yeah. Honestly, I mean, even leaving nostalgia out of it, I mean, tch, Legend of Korra, I had to watch a couple of times before I actually started to enjoy it. I mean, I just stopped watching it because I stopped caring. Yeah. All Avatar, when I first started watching it, I didn't care. But after like four or five episodes, I was just in it. I yeah. still haven't seen every episode. Honestly, season four was a Heavy miss. It had the worst villain. Did it have four seasons? Four seasons was where it ended. Yeah. yeah. Third season, I think, had the best villain. Zaheer. Um, honestly, uh, here's something else. Um, do, should we just do the official announcement of our future uh, collaboration video, which will probably go on your channel? I still say we should do two different versions with an opening and ending, because I think it would be funnier. Yeah, well, uh, here's something that I had an idea for, is that while watching his Digimon Tamers review, I thought, let's do Digimon Frontier together. I cannot believe the biggest laugh out of that was just simply the gasp of Joe. Yeah, he was in high school when he made that. And he showed it to his art class, and as soon as they all saw a gasp, they uh, burst into laughter. It was literally the one joke I put in that took no effort. All the other jokes were they were actually kind of clever and hidden a little bit. No one noticed. <laughs> um, all the jokes I actually tried to put in. <laughs> um, I had to blast Honestly, uh... I had a deadline on that video. Yeah, he had a deadline on that video, so he couldn't really do as much editing as he kind of wanted to. Well, I mean, you could have before you put it online. But then again, I had no background music in my anime versus anime review, which I've still to this day not done the uh, third Bleach movie versus the third Naruto Shippuden movie, which I think will be interesting. Uh, what was the third Naruto? Oh, well, Fire. Well, Fire. Fade to Black versus Will of Fire. And I do understand that they're two separate series entirely, but that's why I'm you no know, determining them because they were for so long the rivals of the anime universe. Bleach and Naruto were rivals. Pretty and now much. Naruto won't end. It just won't die anymore. <laughs> no, it just keeps going. Whoever's make whoever's making the show, listen. Send this video to them. Stop making it. Finish the story, then make the filler. You know what they did recently? They made more filler? No. Uh, recently, they took the one-shot manga, which was the day that Naruto became Hokage, and they did, and they made it fully animated. Is it one of the newer episodes? No, it's a ten-minute special. Good. 
Because if that was the next episode, that sounds awesome. Do it after the show finishes. Yeah. Like, Honestly, Boruto, Boruto and Naruto, the movie has been out for a while, and I can't wait for the English dub because, yes, I watch the English dub. What of it? I mean, the English sub isn't bad for me. Uh, your phone looks like it's unplugged. Whatever. Yeah, that's why I don't use the bottom one. Yeah. It looks like it was unplugged. It wasn't. Yeah. Why does she always have to do that stupid blender thing? Seriously, it is 10 fucking o'clock where we are. And, I mean, I've got to be up early too, but she's got to... She's waking up at like 4 a.m. Whatever. I'm like, why the... Uh. Yeah. I'm back to anime. Yeah, I... Uh, the, the one thing that truly annoys me is just all the filler in it. Like, I love... I can't watch the Naruto Shippuden because I just... I love the... I love the story. I really do. I can't wait to find out what happens next. But I don't want to wait seven seasons for the next episode to move the plot forward. Yeah, I mean, alright. In the beginning, Naruto and filler was subtle. Like, when you... Just straight up watch the show. And uh, for a while, like especially during the first half, the first, you know, piece before Shippuden, all bits of filler uh, up until after the Sasuke retrieval arc. I mean, honestly, if you had not read the manga, you would not know that it was filler. Exactly. You would think it was 100% canon to the story, like... Uh, um, let's see, what was filler before the Sasuke retrieval arc? I don't know. The filler that uh, can further the story that is just simply filler, the only one that I can think of is the Bounce Saga from Bleach. Yeah, I mean, there was a small, like, three or maybe it was five or something episode arc that was after Sasuke woke up from the hospital from being healed by Tsunade, but he ended up in the hospital again... Because he was reckless on a mission, and that's ultimately what put the story back in place. Yeah. Then there was Gotta See, Gotta Know, Kakashi Sensei's Real Face, which is the first episode I ever watched. I mean, that was very obviously filler for that. That's it's very easy to tell, but it's one episode, not 50 episodes. Yeah. Like, if you're going to do one episode, like Bleach for a while, where they would. That was the episode that I watched that got me. Yeah. Same. It's like at that point I was like, okay, I'm going all the way to the beginning of the series because that was hilarious. Like again with Bleach for a while they would do like a few episodes of the actual story and then like three random episodes of filler and then go back to the story. That was fine. I was fine with that. But any show that will just throw filler that's just like for the next four fifteen weeks it's not going to be relevant. And will never be mentioned again. I'm not... I don't care. I don't care. No. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> honestly, with Bleach, the Bount arc was a lot like some of the early Naruto fillers because it was slowed in there as a point between the Rescue Rukia arc and the Arankara arrival. You know, I had just finished that. I was like three episodes after that arc when he told me it was filler. I was like, really? I didn't even notice it. But, yeah. Honestly, what's clever... I mean, what's clever is that at certain points, even after the Bount arc was over, they actually referenced later on that the Bount arc was still a thing in, you know, Bleach. Like, Chad himself brought it up, said, you know, when he was training with Urahara and Renji, he brought up the Bounce. And plus, uh, you know, the the three puppets. The three Monsoul uh, doll things. Yeah, nice. Lil Liling, uh Noba, and Kuroda? Don't ask me. I haven't seen the show since long before it ended. The last episode, I did watch the series finale, 
not the series finale. I watched the final part of the original and stuff back when uh, it was still Isaac. Before that filler. Before the uh, the full bringer arc. Yeah. I watched the episode where I they mean, finished the, uh, the mod, the mod soul, the mod soul arc. And something that kind of bugged me is the uh, the full bringer arc felt like filler arc. We went way off topic. So, yeah, who cares at this point? Honestly, the podcast with you and me, it will never be on topic. I mean, that should just be the theme whenever you're on the podcast, is that it will never stay on topic. We just talk about whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, fillers. I mean, that that's the problem with Naruto's and even Bleach. All right, Bleach, it had, let's see, three filler arcs, at least. And, I mean, ones that were... For people who didn't read the manga, there were obviously filler arcs. Number one, the uh, Shusuke Amagai arc, which was the first one that was pretty much obvious that it was a filler arc. And then there was the Zanpakuto Rebellion. And then after that... Uh, yeah, the Zanpakuto Rebellion. And then after that, it was the, uh, the Mod Soul arc. I think all the very obvious filler arcs were the ones that happened after they entered Waco Mundo. Because it just yeah. stopped the story entirely. Four arcs altogether, and only one of them was just kind of slipped inside the story just so they could delay it a little bit. And they barely touched on it. Now, filler episodes, that's something else. Uh, uh, Fil the, filler episodes we will excuse. Like the one that went into Hellverse. That one was fine. Perfectly yeah, fine. that was promotion for the uh, for the Hellverse movie. But it's still a really awesome movie. Yeah, I mean, so many people hate on it, though. I, I mean, I I was sitting in school one day, I was like, I'm going to watch Hellverse. And for the next two hours, I was just on my phone in class. Honestly, um, I think... Like, I still remember when I did my... Uh, Hellverse versus the Lost Tower video, and every point that I had went straight to Bleach. Story went to Bleach. Action went to Bleach. Movie characters went to Bleach. I'll be honest, I don't remember anything of the fourth Naruto movie. I only watched it once. Exactly. You remember so much about Bleach because... To be fair, I did watch that one like 17 times. While Naruto, I watched it once. I remember everything about the Naruto La the Lost Tower movie, but that's only because I had to watch it again and painstakingly take notes because... I'll be honest, as much as I love the Naruto movies... The Lost Tower is considered the absolute worst. And for rightful reasons. My best one still Rogue's Ninja. My best one is still Will of Fire. Well, my favorite one of the uh, Shippuden is Rogue's Ninja. My favorite one of the original one is uh, Guardians of the Crescent Moon Kingdom. And if we're talking about the original three, the first one is my favorite. That's, how, that's actually Neon's favorite as well. Found that out not too long ago. Um... Ninja Storm 93's favorite is actually the second one, the Stone of Galel. I don't remember that one. I hard, I couldn't really watch that one very often, and it's it's terrible because when I watched it the first time, I thought it was boring. Let's go back and watch the original trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> um, just like, just watch it. We could do our own form of movie watch or something. Um, like uh. I don't remember what the original type is. It's some... I don't know. Like Rooster Teeth's theater mode. Or what's well, Achievement Hunter's theater mode. Which is based we, off of another show, which I don't remember the name of right now. Only this one won't involve the R-rated things. And very poor movie quality. But... No, I think I'm going to put up a... Top ten best anime list later, and worst. Well, my top ten. I did a uh, I did a top ten favorite anime list, and it was it was about a year ago actually. I I've been meaning to put one up for a while. 
Alright, my top ten worst. I bet you can't even guess what number one is. Is it one that I've watched? Probably not. Is it Assassination Classroom? Oh no, that's one. That's like my number two best. Oh. That show's incredibly good. Go watch it if you haven't. It really is. All right, it's what good. is it called? It's called Sakura Diaries. Sakura Diaries. Yes, I saw it online. I was like, I read the description of it. and I was like, okay, I'll watch it just see what it's like. I watched the first episode, and I watched the rest of this show just see if one of them would be hit by a car. I just wanted to watch one of them die. You say it was your favorite? No, worst. Oh, worst. Like, I thought you favorite, were favorite. You you know what my favorite one is. Like, if anyone's watched most of my videos, they know what my favorite one is. I'm assuming it's Digimon Tigers. Duh. Duh. Assassination Classroom is too. My least favorite. Oh my god. I would. I, I could. I could go on for like 17 hours just talking about all the wrong, all the morally wrong things about it. I must have zoned out when you said least favorite. I just heard your favorite anime, not your least favorite anime. Uh, I should do both, but if any of you have uh, not seen Soccer Diaries, don't. Just don't. No, there's actually one that's considered to be like maybe one of the worst anime of all time, and it's what? called, uh, if I remember correctly, it's called Boku. I don't know what that is. Uh, I watched uh, a reaction of HMK when he watched it, and he was disturbed by what he saw. And quite frankly, I've been debating whether or not to uh, to watch it because I'm afraid. I'll watch it. I don't care. I've already seen what I consider to be the bottom to be the worst. I'll Something else I want to talk about yeah. real quick. I don't think you've seen it, but. All right, have you seen Batman and Robin? Uh, the first, the movie, the live action one. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw it as a little kid, but literally the only thing I remember that isn't from uh, the nostalgia critic review is that scene where Batman unfreezes Robin, and that's it. All right. Well, I remember Batman and Robin because when I was a kid, I'll be honest. When I was a kid. I watched that movie so many times it has burned into my brain. My, it's ridiculous. I recognize now that it is a bad movie because, well, I'm not four years old anymore. And about a couple of years ago, I watched Superman 4. I know you haven't seen it. I haven't seen the first Superman movie. You haven't seen any Superman. I've seen Man of Steel. Did you like Man of Steel? Yeah. I thought it was decent. Yeah. You were you were among the half of the world that said it was good. So you tolerated it because You honestly don't remember. You're the one that uh, Oh right. You paid for my ticket. I forgot. I was broke back then. You didn't work I don't how old were you? That was uh, that was three years ago. You weren't even old enough to work yet. Yeah, that that was what I think that was that was ninth or tenth grade. I don't know. It was during the summer of twenty thirteen. I don't care. Like it was literally three years ago. But more to the point, uh, as to why I brought this up, like people say that Batman and Robin is the absolute worst superhero movie of all time. Was that Steel? Whatever that Batman movie was? No, they more than often say Batman and Robin. But in my opinion, the worst superhero movie of all time is actually Superman 4. And I mean ones that people actually want to watch. Yeah. Steel is what kind of killed the, the superhero movie genre for a while. Batman and Robin sure didn't help. Like, Superman 4 and Batman and Robin, which is technically Batman 4, are considered to be two of the worst superhero movies ever. Superman 4, holy crap. I tolerate Batman and Robin more. Because, while it may not be, you know, terrific, it's not even really great. I mean, 
you can at least have fun while watching Batman and Robin. Even if you don't like all the corny jokes, I mean, there's something that you like about it. Yeah. In Superman 4, I was so lost and confused on the story. The animation was a piece of crap compared to the other three movies, and I it was just terrible. You couldn't understand half of the stuff that was going on. Like, honestly, Batman and Robin seems coherent compared to Superman 4. I wouldn't know. I would. Like, I watched the movie one time and I regretted it a thousand times more than I ever did watching Batman and Robin. Uh, you know, like half the people did with uh, Batman v Superman? I don't regret watching that. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I knew it wasn't going to be good and I didn't think it was worth the time. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Originally, my ideas of Batman v Superman when I first came out of it were low, but that's because there was something in the movie that, well, didn't sit right with me. And it took away from my entire experience. But looking at the movie now, and ignoring the things that, the, the one little, the one problem that really ruined the whole movie for me the first time I watched it, it's actually a good movie. There's a lot of good stuff in it. I mean, it's nowhere near perfect. But See, what I tried to do was, I was going to go watch it, but I didn't want to know anything about it. Like, I think the first, the only thing I knew about it, until I found out who the main bad guy was, was one woman who was in it. And at that point, I didn't care. I, I, don't, I don't like her as a character either, so. I, I She's care. hardly in the movie, trust me. I, I didn't care either way. And I mean, the, I've got the movie and we can watch it. And I found out who the bad guy was, the big main villain, whatever you want to call him. And I, just, I didn't bother watching it at that point. Who? Dark Side. I, as soon as I found out he Dark was, Side? Or what, whatever the heck his name is. Doomsday? Yeah, Doomsday. As soon as I found out Doomsday was in it, I just stopped caring. Because I was like, okay, well, I know who's the the one that's going to be in it, and I know what the climax will be. I'm not going to bother watching it. Because I, I wanted to be surprised to buy it. So Yeah, they ruined it with the trailer. No, I didn't watch the trailer. Just some guy was uh, talking about it and said, I can't believe that uh, Doomsday is the villains. Why? Out of everyone, why Doomsday? He's like, well, I'm not well, watching Doom, it. Doomsday is not the real villain. He's As Luther or whatever. I don't care. Doomsday is not thrown in until like the last 20 minutes. I honestly don't care about any of Superman's villains. I don't find any of them interesting except for when it was in Smallville. Smallville was a great show. I never got to finish it. I really didn't. Honestly, after season like five, I stopped caring because after season five, they just... It wasn't even Smallville anymore. It was something else, but that was mainly because, you know, um, Clark wasn't in high school anymore, and he stopped going to college, and it really depends on your perspective, but Smallville was honestly better for me when it was during the first five seasons, but then again, he was still kind of learning about all of his different powers, encountering other metas, blah, blah, blah. You think Smallville will is part of the Arrow universe, or you think they'll restart that with a different Superman? The Arrow, no, it's well. Like, I don't. Now think here's the thing. This is where it would be interesting to talk about because Green Arrow was in Smallville. Really? It's in season six. They brought in Green Arrow. Yeah, that's what happens when you rub up against the uh, the system. Um. Or center, whatever you want to yeah. call it. But in Smallville season six, they brought in the Green Arrow. Yeah, see, I never finished uh, season one or season two. I watched like the first half of it before the DVD started messing up. I watched like one episode where Lex was going. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, with I don't think this is any secret. Um, they brought in jumping through universes with Flash, and there was actually a crossover episode where Flash jumped dimensions and went into the Supergirl universe. So, 
it is not entirely out of the question that Superman would be in, you know, uh, I mean, the Smallville Superman would be in the Arrowverse or Flashverse, Earth One Verse, whichever one you want to call it. So it's not entirely out of the question, but I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, just kind of hard to say. But I doubt because uh, Smallville ended back in 2011, and it was about two years after that when, you know, when uh, Arrow started up. So maybe there is a possibility. That would be interesting if uh, in the Supergirl show it actually showed um, Tom Welling showing up as Superman. That would be interesting, and I would actually love to see that. I, I'll be honest, I don't care about either Flash or Supergirl. Uh, I haven't even seen Gotham yet. I need to, do, I need to go watch first I don't season. think they're going to bring Gotham into the whole mix. Yeah. Well, but they are doing a smart move by putting Supergirl on the CW. Okay. Yeah, they, they announced that Supergirl is going to be on CW, because honestly, that's the way it should be. What's more... Something that bugs me. Don't put these superhero shows on at the same time as other shows, like Gotham. That was a big problem for me. I wanted. Shut, shut up. I realized fourteen that power, power fourteen percent, whatever. Um. Whenever I wanted to watch Supergirl, if Gotham was on, then I was screwed because we don't have, you know. Like, we had so many things DVRing at once, I had to choose between one or the other. I chose Gotham. Quite frankly, I got more out of Gotham. Actually, Gotham and Supergirl, it's hard to explain. But we should probably end this video up, because it's been over an hour, and we've reached the goal. We've made it the entire way. Well, and honestly, I do have to get to bed, because... While, you know, this is not late for other people, I have to be up very early in the morning just so I can make it to work on time and not get fired. For other people who can do this, you know, they just, they're monsters. They can stay awake for like five days without sleep. And yeah. it's like, you people are insane. And that's really kind of uh, what Bruce Teeth New Series Day 5 is about. Where if you fall asleep, you die. And I guess it takes place over the course of five days. I don't know. They haven't explained it yet. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as they finally do other things with that, I guess we'll all figure out what's going on there. It's a fairly good show. If you're on a Rooster Teeth sponsor, I'd say go watch the first episode. It's free for everyone. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. Uh, I've been Kendricks. This has been Marcus Chronicle from Greystone Chronicles. Like I said, uh, let's see, what links did we talk about that I have to put in the video? My fan fiction, that was one. Um, your channel and my channel. And uh, if anyone actually wants to follow me on Twitter, it's just at Marcus Chronicle. You know, like as a name, no space, no underscore. Just proper name, way you would spell it and anything. You know what if you just like. Uh, I don't tweet much, if at all. Just comment on this video when it gets uploaded and, you know, leave the link in there. That's all you need to do. I probably won't, but... You don't even post anything, so it won't matter. I, I made it to, for when I actually do start making videos on a regular basis. Yeah. Just to be like, hey, this one I'm reviewing next. Hey, this what uh, I'm doing next. What game do you want me to play? Whatever. We'll catch you all later. Peace.